if you are trying to quit a bad habit or an addiction or start a positive new habit. I have um, your message ready for today. And this is from my cards, Addiction Recovery with the Law of Attraction. I created that deck when I became sober from um, alcohol addiction, food addiction, toxic relationship addiction, all of the above. Sugar, sugar was a hard one. Okay guys, so um, this is your card for the day. Here's your message. We've got uh, the limiting beliefs card popped out. And at the bottom it says, tell a different story. See like the picture here, this guy's in black and white. He's, he's holding himself back from moving forward in life because he, of his limiting beliefs. So this is what we're gonna try to um, get through. And I've got the content on the back that I'm about to read you. All right, so this card suggests that psychological barriers, also known as limiting beliefs, are blocking you from your full potential. The number one limiting belief I hear from clients is that they feel other people can achieve something that they cannot do. This is what I hear all the time, like, oh yeah, I believe it's possible, just not for me. Well, if it's possible for somebody else, it's possible for you too. So that's something we gotta get over, right? We gotta figure out why do we, why do we think we can't do it? My son's coughing up a lung in the background, sorry about that. Uh, this is another form of imagining that you are not worthy. A simple, a similar common limiting belief also tied to unworthiness is there is something that I want and I cannot have because I'm different in some way or I don't deserve it. Uh, so today, you must start telling yourself and, and others a different story. Tell a different story. Your story matters. You are as capable as anyone else. You are successful. You are overcoming this addiction. Before I quit drinking alcohol, I had many limiting beliefs surrounding this addiction. Here are some examples. How will I ever be able to relax and have fun without alcohol? When I do not drink, I get anxiety in social situations. I will lose a lot of friends when I quit drinking because they will not think I'm fun anymore. So those were my personal ones that, that I was really, um, I'm alcohol free for a little over five years now. And before I quit, these were my reasons, these were my limiting beliefs and that were keeping me from quitting. Uh, when we argue for our limitations, we are sure to get stuck in life. Nothing ever changes when we are fixated on everything that could go wrong instead of thinking about everything that could improve. If you have similar limiting beliefs regarding your addiction, shift your focus to the happiness and the inner peace that comes with being free of addiction. The joy that replaces the temporary fix any addiction brings is truly indescribable. It's true guys, my life's done in 180. Like I'm so much happier, I'm able to feel joy. You know, Brene Brown says when we, that we can't selectively numb our feelings. And this is so true. So yeah, drinking alcohol numbs you out, you escape. You know, you're filling some sort of void, you think, but the truth is, is it just gives you a bigger void and it stops you from being able to feel joyful. Like I have so much joy and clarity that I didn't have before. And I didn't even realize it until I got rid of alcohol. You're capable of so much more, trust me. Roger Bannister was the first human to run a four minute mile. Runners of the past had not been able to achieve it no matter how hard they tried. Once that limit was finally broken by one person, others instantly believed that the impossible was now possible. Thousands of runners now have conquered this barrier this, that was previously considered out of reach. This lesson, the lesson here is that the barrier was more about the mindset and limiting beliefs rather than physical achievement. So when it comes to breaking your addictions, just remember, if any human can do it, so can you. Any other thought is a limiting belief. So stop lying to yourself and know you can do this. So if you have a bad habit you're trying to break or just, you know, let's say you're just trying to start something new. Like let's say it's, you want to get to the gym more, anything like that. Just, it's, it's just really practicing and, and it, it, it's going to feel awkward at first. Anytime we're making a new change, like we're giving something up or adding something in, it's always going to be awkward in the beginning, but soon it's going to become second nature, like brushing your teeth in the morning. So I hope this helped you guys. Let me know in the comments below and I hope you have a beautiful day.